We are here because we agree that there is a better way of life for others, and every person here has the power to bring the world one step closer to equal rights and freedom amongst all people, especially children. Our art consultant, Cameron Cross, and our media technology consultant, uh, David Wall, approached me and, and with the idea, with the concept of, of bridging human rights, art, social studies, uh, language arts, and engagement. And this project was just a perfect marriage of all of those elements. You know, this is this is amazing. I think we need to just take it take a second and just understand what we're doing here. Thirteen thousand of you are gonna create one massive work of art together. I recall visiting Investors Group Field on the day off the event, and it was kind of surreal uh, to see all of the children participating, coming in by the bus load to deliver their panel, uh, celebrating in just the success of the event itself. One of the things, if you look at each of the panels, is each one is different and each one is important, just like each of you. When I hear that people all around the world are fighting for the rights that we consider normal and everyday things, it lets me see my life in a different light. With our rights come responsibilities to protect and enhance the rights of people here in Canada and around the world. It was just really exciting to be part of the Human Rights Project as a trustee and as a parent of four children who participated in the program. I want our students to take away an appreciation for the fact that we have all of those rights that were on, on the field. We pretty much have them in Canada. And the vast majority of the world doesn't. And so my dream and hope for our students is that the lesson that they take from this is that they can make a difference in the world and help others realize the rights that we take for granted.